White Boy Entertainment presents A Town Christmas Party. Ladies and gentlemen, before you uh, get uh, listen to this, I want you to clearly understand that. Oh yeah, uh, wait there, uh, excuse buddy. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah. Just wait there a second. Yeah, um, I got this, man. Move aside. I'm move aside. Fine. Fine. Yeah, uh, listen, everybody, you about to, to listen to this here CD, you need to understand just a few things. One, if you're religiously stupid, okay, you don't want to listen to this thing. If you got offense to anything, you don't want to listen to this CD, just put it down. If you're under the age of 18 years old, I recommend you don't let your kids or them listen to it. Because that's you, what you're about to listen to here is Frank fucking Rizzo and it's fucking grizz, and it's grizzly, grizzly, grizzly. You know what I mean? I'm talking about harsh language, okay, sexual content, and a whole lot of shit that'll offend you. So if you get offended by anything here, I recommend you just put the CD down and hand it to someone who actually loves fucked up shit. Because this CD is some fucked up shit. Now without further ado, Merry fucking Christmas everybody. Here's your A-Town Christmas party. Let's get it on. Nine one one emergency. What's your emergency? Yeah, man, I'd like to talk to the county police department, man. Hello. Yes, can I talk to the county police department, please? This is speaking. Thank you, man. I got something I want to say. What can I do for you, sir? I'm going to tell you right now, man. Uh, I'm kind of a little mad at you guys right now. It's kind of like not even funny, man. It's the Christmas season right now. Um, excuse me. Yeah, it's the Christmas season, and uh, it's all your guys' fault why I'm having a problem, man. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? No, I'm not. I'm damn real serious, man. Like, listen, man, you guys arrested all of my hookups, man, and I can't find no damn weed. What? So I need you guys to, like, cough some of that stuff up, man. I know you guys are holding that shit in there somewhere. And this is an emergency because I got a Christmas party to go to, man. And I need a lot of weed, man. Oh, yeah, I can't believe you're doing this. Are you serious? You don't understand, man. The only way I can score right now is to go to Cheech, man. If I go to Cheech, he's going to take me to his cousin Strawberry, man. And you don't even know what that dude's like, man. And who's this Strawberry guy, man? Who's this Trump? That guy's a Vietnam vet, man. Really? He's a Vietnam vet and goes through flashbacks, man. You have no idea, man, what it is I go through when I have to score through Strawberry, man. And what's your name again? Not only that, you can't help but look at the guy's neck, man. Buddy. Hey. He's a war vet, man, you know? So, like, I need you guys to, like, hook me up, man. Is there any way you guys can, uh, like, throw me some of that But I know you got it locked up in the chamber over there somewhere, man. This is not a drugstore, man. This is the police department. Well, if you can't help me, hook me up with that officer, Leroy, man. I know he'll do it for me. Can you put Leroy on the phone, man? Leroy? Leroy? Leroy who? Please you don't. know Leroy Phillips, man? Oh, yeah, the guy, no yeah. Leroy, yeah, huh? that guy, man. Talk about Leroy that works the front, huh? Yeah, I know. Him. I know I can score if you put him on the phone. Can you just put him on the phone for me, man? Um, buddy, you just got this man arrested. What's your name again, sir? Oh, no, man. You gotta be kidding me. I'm out of here, man. Forget it. I'll just go to Strawberry. Hello? Hello? Come in. This is Mr. Keller's Mini Mall. I'm uh, Mr. Kill. How can I help you? Uh, yeah, uh, hi there, Slapjack. My name's Frank Rizzo. I was uh, wondering if I could use your telephone, huh? Oh, yeah, the phone is back there by the bathroom. Oh, thank you, man. Uh, you, you got a real nice place here. Uh, I don't remember this being there. This is a uh, new kind of business or something, huh? Yeah, I started last week. Oh, that's nice. Uh, well, uh, I'm going to go use that phone now. You said it was back by the bathroom, huh? Okay, man. All right, man. I'll, I'll be right back, okay? Yeah, let me see here. Is, uh... Uh, right here. Hi, 
Hello, there, it's uh, Victoria Pistol. Oh, yeah. Uh, hi there. This is, uh, my name's uh, Mythical. We're down here at the new spot down here at Mythical Mini Mall. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're celebrating it, yeah. the grand new opening here. You know, it's a uh, big oh, thing. I got good. all the cousins down here working. The kids are working. Oh, the, the wife nice, is working. Nice, the, my nice. mom's even working, you know. Uh, we're having a good time down here. What can I do for you today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should come down and check us out. But uh, we need your help a little bit. Uh, we need oh, some yeah? pizzas over here. You mind sending us down some pizzas? Sure. Yeah, no problem. That's what we do here. Yeah, I need 27 pizza. large pies with absolutely everything. 27 large pies. That's nice. Yeah, yeah, everything. That's right. Check your call ID. Right? Check your... Yeah, yeah, I see yep, you yep, on that's here. That's uh, Mythic Out Mini Malls. Yep. Yep, it comes up right here on my Yeah, ID. don't worry about it. I'll be sitting in the front desk. Uh, I got a check ready for you when you get here. Another check is good. Check is good. I can do that check. Yeah, no problem. I need 27 large pies, absolutely everything, and make sure the manchovies pies. are in there, okay? I write it down. I got it right there. Thank yeah. you, Slapjack. Okay. My mom yeah, we got a me. party going on here. Uh, if you have any strippers or anything like that, the wife really don't mind. You know Ooh, what I mean? Nighttime business. Nighttime Just, business. Uh, let them know that Mythic House pays everything. Okay. I will uh, call them and tell okay, them to man, bring. Thank you very much. Oh, you're no problem, All right, man. man. No problem. You have a nice Bye. night. Uh, I'll see you soon. <laughs> yeah, I got to love you. All right, man. Uh, thank you for that, man. Uh, I really appreciate that. I'll stop by with the wife and kids sometime. We'll check out this place. Uh, okay, but I got to get going, man. I'll see you later. All right, man. Have a nice day. Uh, you too. You too. I uh, hope the old lady don't get mad at you over there. You know what I mean? I'll see you later. Bye. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Oh my God! My my name is Ethel. Um. What's the matter, ma'am? I slipped on the ice outside on the sidewalk and. Are you okay, ma'am? No, I think I broke my ankle. Okay, where are you located? I'm on the sidewalk. Like right outside. Ma'am, but where where are you located? I'm right by the street. The sidewalk's by the street. Where did you fall, ma'am? On the sidewalk, I told you. I fell on the sidewalk. Okay, can can you walk? Can you? Are you capable of getting back up to your feet? Fuck no, I can't. I cannot do that. I think there's a bone sticking out of my ankle. Excuse me, ma'am. Listen, listen to me really closely. I need to know exactly where your location is. I told you. I'm on the sidewalk outside. And where is that? It's by the street. I told you. It's right there by the fire hydrants. Like right there. My ankle. I know, ma'am. We're really trying to help you right now. But it's kind of hard for us to help you like this. Maybe I should just get up and hop in there. No, 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 no ma'am. Don't do that. No, 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 no. But I, it hurts so bad, but I think I can I do it. I realize you're in a lot of pain, man. I'm in a lot of pain. We need to know where have you fallen. Where are you at? Where did you fall? I'm on the sidewalk right by the street. I, I know that, ma'am. But then why and don't... Where exactly is that? Oh, man, it's swelling up. It's like getting so big like Excuse a potato. Me, it hurts so bad. I think it's... No, 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 no. Don't get up. I think I should get up. I think I should come there. Ma'am. I need a doctor. I really need a doctor. I, I think I got a bone that's sticking out of my foot right now. Is It's bleeding all over the place through my tie shoes. Listen, ma'am, we will definitely send an ambulance out to pick you up. But I told you, I'm on the sidewalk. But I know you're on the sidewalk, ma'am. I understand that. But where is the sidewalk that you fell down on? Where is that? It's by the street. Right by the fire oh, hydrant. Like Okay, I, every sidewalk, ma'am, is by the street. Every sidewalk is by the street. I really need to know where is your location. I'm running by on the sidewalk by the curb. Can you be more curve. specific than by the street? Where is the sidewalk? Not the fire hydrant. Not the fire hydrant, okay? Not the fire hydrant. Listen to me closely, lady. Oh. What's your name? Yo. Okay, listen. Okay. I need to know what sidewalk, what sidewalk, where are you at other than by the fire hydrant and by the street? Right outside at the end of the lawn. I know that, ma'am. Yeah. Right, right, right across from the fire hydrant and across from the street. So you're by the lawn. 
on the sidewalk. I understand that, lady. But listen, where are you at? Where were you coming from? I was coming from my house. My house. Okay, so, what is your address, ma'am? My address is my house, right by where I fell. Ma'am. Oh! Hold on, lady. Just listen. It's swollen and hurts so bad. Listen, ma'am. Listen. Listen to me really good, ma'am. No. Don't do that. Why are you yelling at me? Please stop yelling at me. You're not being very nice. I'm not really liking this very much. You know what? I'm I'm just going to come to you. I'm going to get up no, and I'm no, going to hop all no, the way there to the hospital, okay? No, ma'am. Listen, I'm not trying to yell at you. Maybe I'll just call my abusive ex-husband and he'll beat me with a baseball bat on my way there. He'll take me, though, but they going to beat me up real bad, you know, but so he probably got it, still got them brass knuckles in his glove box. Ma'am, you're taking this too far. Come on. So you said you was going to send an ambulance. you a horrible service person. No, I'm not, lady. I'm trying my best here to help you. No, you're I not. I really am, but you got to listen to me out. You want me to send the ambulance? I need to know where you're at. Oh. So tell me, where are you? I'm on the sidewalk. Lady, I know that part, but I need to know where. The sidewalk by the street by my house. Oh, gee, you got to be kidding me. That's okay. I'm just gonna get up. I'm my. I, it's all swollen and I, I can't stand. I, I know it's broken. Ma'am. So I'm just gonna get up and I'm gonna call him. Okay, I'll be right there. You just have yourself a merry Christmas. Lady, lady. Bye. Hey. Holy shit. Yeah, what the hell am I gonna be doing out here? Christmas, Christmas time. I gotta go to this fucking Christmas party. Fucking walking out here, and all these fucking cars going by now. Nobody gave me a ride. I'm getting building up an appetite here. And I gotta admit though that uh, Mr. Cal guy seemed to be pretty good, or pretty pretty nice guy over there. It's kind of sorry I gotta do what I did with him. Oh, man, sure getting damn hungry over here. I know there's gonna be food at the party and everything, but I don't know if I can wait that long, man. I got quite a walk here. Oh, shit. There it is. That's right. McDonald's. Um, I think I'm going to swing by over there. And uh, I'm going to grab me a fucking cheeseburger, you know. Hopefully the fucking Josh kid doesn't give me a fucking hard time. That Joshy kid, you know. Fucking Joshy. Every single time I go over there, your motherfucker gives me a hard fucking time, you know. Let's go see what happens here. You know, it's Christmas, man. Maybe I shouldn't even go inside. You know, every time I go in there, they want to give me a hard time. I think I'm just going to go through the drive-thru over here. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right about here, I'm going to Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see what they got here. All right, uh, let's fucking do this. Fuck it. Hello, um, welcome to McDonald's. This is Joshua with Big, and uh, what can I get for you this evening? Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Yeah, how you doing? I'd like to get um, the, the super size. Um, excuse me, can you repeat that, please? Then I'd like to get a, a super size. Yeah. I'm sorry, can you come again? Or we're breaking up. I said, listen here. I said I want a number with a super size. You understand I'm sorry, that? sir, but you're, you're, you're just breaking up. I can't hear you. I said, I said that I want a goddamn motherfucking... Frank. Frank, is that you? Of course it's me, this dumbass. Frank, you, you're not supposed to be here, Frank. Yes, I am. You're I'm not hungry. allowed in here. I want food. Every time you come here, you bring problems. And every single time you come here, there's always an argument. No, you bring the problems. I just want a damn cheeseburger. You're in the drive through Frank. It's Christmas. Come You're on. You're in the drive through You're not supposed to be here. I don't care if I don't have a car. Not at all. You don't belong here, Frank. You got to go home. I know it's Christmas, but you've got to go home. Christmas. You're supposed to have a heart on Christmas, man. What's the problem over here? You're supposed to give me to my damn Frank, cheeseburger. You're in the drive through I cannot serve a pedestrian without a vehicle in the drive through The hell you can't. You can serve me anytime I want. You don't have a car. 
This is Frank. Frank Rizzo, and I want a goddamn cheeseburger. You understand me on Christmas, damn cheeseburger? No, it isn't. It's the law, Frank. It is not the law. The law is discrimination, you bastard. No, it isn't, Frank. Yes, it is. It's the law. It's discrimination. I don't have a car. Frank. And you don't want to serve me. I'm coming up. You better the fuck not, up. Frank. I'm going to come the fuck up to the window. Stop, Frank. I'm coming. No. I'm coming. No, Frank. Here I fucking come, you goddamn piece of shit. You're going to sit there and not serve me my goddamn Christmas cheeseburger on Christmas Day. Discriminate. Nobody discriminates against Frank Rizzo. Right, here we are, the stupid fucking drive through Open it up. I'm going to keep tapping on this goddamn glass until you open up the goddamn window. Open up the goddamn window. I want my fucking cheeseburger. It's fucking Christmas. Open up the thing, Josh. Just don't make me to fucking come in the store on Christmas Day. I see your manager over there trying to lock the fucking door. Open the goddamn fucking ch- Over here, right now. Yeah, that's right. You better open it the fuck up. Listen here, yeah, man. Ain't no fucking discrimination against no Frank Rizzo. It's fucking Christmas. It's the season of giving, and you're going to give me a goddamn cheeseburger with a fucking large fry. You understand that? I can't do that, Frank. I'm not allowed. I don't give a shit. I'm not here to argue with you. I'm here to fucking eat some fucking cheeseburger. I'm on my way Come to on. a fucking Christmas party, and I'm fucking hungry. I got a long fucking walk, and you're in my fucking way. But, Frank, I can't do it. Yeah. I Is can't. that so? Yeah, I can't. Is that so? Well, listen here, buddy. Come on. Ow, be, ow. Ow, yeah, you Wait. better fucking bitch up, you son of a bitch. Come I on, want the goddamn go, cheeseburger. Tell, let me go. Tell your manager I'm not taking my hands off you Mommy. until I get my cheeseburger and my price. That's Mommy, right. Throw me the goddamn bag. Here's Mommy. the goddamn five dollars. Here you go, five dollars. fucking dollars. Now give me the goddamn fucking bag. Give me That's right. Let me sit it out here for a fucking minute. I'm not letting you listen, you little Come fucking on, goddamn no. Joshy. No. Every oh, single fucking oh, time I come here, you give me a fucking hard oh, time. Oh, this is what I'm gonna fucking do to you, you oh, fucking son of a bitch. You wanna sit there and fucking sit there and fight? You wanna fight with me? You wanna oh, fucking oh, fight oh, with me, oh, you oh, son oh, of a bitch? Goddamn oh, stupid oh, piece of shit, oh, goddamn oh, motherfucker. Oh, That's oh, right, this is fucking oh, Christmas. Oh, you don't fuck with oh, people oh, on fucking oh, Christmas. You just fucking tell me you don't fuck with people on fucking Christmas. You don't have to get fucking son of a bitch. I won't, man. Stop it. I won't, man. Come on, man. What? Oh, oh, you oh, go right ahead. I don't give a rat's ass. I tell you, you cops, can kiss yeah. my ass, too. Why don't you step outside, huh? You cops, got this Frank. stupid little window holding me, huh? You gotta well, call the cops. Yeah. Oh, shit. You're damn lucky. I fucking hear these son of a bitches. I'll Let see you. you guys on fucking New Year's, you motherfuckers. Yeah, Merry fucking Christmas, Frank. Merry fucking Christmas. Yeah, and give me my goddamn prize. Fuck off, Frank. Fuck off. He went that way. He went over there. Stop it! Calm down. Stop it! Get us back here the face and tell me if it hurts. Okay? Get upstairs. No, 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 upstairs. Get upstairs right now. Stop right it. now. Someone's at the door. Get upstairs right now. You go upstairs. Get up. Get fucking right now. I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, hey, what's up, man? What's up, Peter? Oh, yo, what is the deal with this? Well, welcome in. You're the first one to make it to the Christmas party this year. Well, what's the matter with you? Really? Oh, don't worry about that, man. Just come in and enjoy yourself. Don't worry, man. There's a thing called the Christmas spirit, Christmas miracles and stuff. I'm sure everyone will understand you soon enough, man. Yeah, why don't you just go in there and grab some liquor, all right, man? All right. Now, look, somebody else is here. Hold on, I'm coming. Hello? Hey, hey, hey. All right, hey, what's going on there, Uncle Zal? How you doing, man? Hey, son, how's it going, man? Hey, it's good to have you here, man. Uh, where's everybody else at? 
Oh, they, they, I left them at home. I don't know if they gonna make it. A little, little sick there. Okay. Uh, Sorry to hear that. Well, what What do you want to talk about? Uh, I do need to talk to you about something. I was telling you on the phone. Oh, hold on, just give me one more second, oh, okay? Hey, Rocky. Hey, uh, hey, Mick. How, how you doing? doing? How you doing? Thanks you doing? for having us well, over. Yeah, don't worry about my cat. My kids are running around upstairs. Everything's real loud in here. You know, we're just about to hey, have that's a, okay we'll have a good time, though. Great uh, to be here. You're a real Why nice you guy over in? here. You know, a real nice guy. Yeah, make yourselves at home. Thank you very much. Me and Mick will enjoy that. Right, Mick? Yeah, right, you Uncle right, Zyla. Rocky. Uh, you're right, Hell, I got what you're trying to say. Hold on. What? Oh, Calm yeah. down. Calm down. Well, she is. Uh, damn old battle axe was himself. Hello, wait up. I'm coming, oh, I'm coming. Oh, hello. Hello there, dear. That, oh. got, that goddamn. Shut I, up. Don't what, worry what about you're it. Here now. That what goddamn you're here Uncle Dowler. You can sit there and send us to a whole I other place. Us. Come on, Rita. Rita listen, you bring that baby with, with us. Today, okay? Don't worry about that, girl. You look, you don't kick that old yeah, man right there square and his old people. little shrivel up. All right, no all right. Why don't you guys just come in? Come on, Murder. Don't no, no, worry about it. up at home. We, we, the, the party didn't even start yet. We're about to get it started. You better watch your ass, Aula. Calm down there, Myrtle. Listen, just, just calm down. Your, just dig your head in the cheesecake or something. All right, you guys. Dig your head in the cheesecake, you fat son bitch. Make yourself at home. Uh -huh. There's food in there. Drink. Do whatever you need to do. So that move, your here. On, move your ass on there now. Man, you yeah, shut this? up, you fat old that's bastard. That's my baby. That's their boy. Oh. That's Peter's baby. Mm -hmm. You damn well know really? that's our blood. That's oh, right. Damn. That mother better have my damn money. Oh, damn. Uh, what well, I'm saying. Well, either way, Jay, just come in. Go ahead. Just come I've helped my way go, in there. Go, He's go, even make so much as look at this baby. I swear I'm a... Yep, Uncle get Zyla, it, man. Why'd you do come that, on. man? Well, I, I didn't want no old battle axe coming here. Right, so what was it shit. that you wanted to talk to me about? Listen, man. Every year they family get together, they try to do these Christmas songs. They yeah, go fuck the shit up. Yeah, they fuck mm -hmm. the shit up. So this time I want to do one song and them, them changing all the really? words to it. Uh, just me and you, son. Just me and you. Okay, just this one time, all right? Thank you. That's all I asked for. These uh, these ladies just uh, come in here. They think they know Christmas song like an old lady at church. You know, come in there and make their own words up for them stems, you know. It ain't the real words, you know. They just sit there and fuck their whole damn Christmas holiday up. They get high, drunk, old fucked up, stick their head in the cheesecake and all that shit. The next thing you know, they get pregnant, come back looking for child support and all that shit. Mm -hmm. All right, it is good. Uh, let's get this party started, huh? Eh? Oh, jeez. Well, Uncle Zylo, you kicking this off, man. You go there, Uncle Zylo. You show him how you do this every day, man. I got you. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bell swing and jingle bell ring. Snowing and blowing in bushes of fun. Now the jingle rock has begun. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bell chime and jingle bell time. Dancing and prancing in jingle square. In the frosty air. Oh, the bright time. Oh, the bright time. The rock denied me. Jingle bell time, it's a swell time To go riding in the world holy Giddy up, jingle horse, pick up your feet Hey, come out Jingle around the clock Mix and mingle and jingle and beat ha -ha. It's a jingle bell ride Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock Jingle bell chime in jingle bell time is dancing and prancing in jingle square <laughs> in, in the frosty air. Yeah. What a right time! It's the right time. Damn right. The rock the night away. Jingle bell time, it's a swell time to go riding in the world sleigh. Giddy up, jingle horse, pick up your feet. 
jingle around the clock. It's time to let the boy the in on mix now. The mix and mingle and jingle and be. That's the jingle bell. That's rock. the jingle bell. That's the jingle bell. That's the jingle bell. <laughs> That's the jingle bell. Rock. Oh man. Oh, look at that. Oh, look. <laughs> Let's tell him, boys. Let's tell him how to do it now. Joe Thompson. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bell sing and jingle bell ring. Snowing and blowing the bushels of fun. Now the jingle rock has begun. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bell chime and jingle bell time. Dancing and prancing and jingling square In the frosty air What a bright time yeah, It's the right time To rock the night away You go, guys. Jingle bell time It's a swell time To go riding in the world sleigh Amen Giddy up, jingle horns, pick up your feet Pick them up. Jingle around the clock. Keep it rocking. Oh, mix and mingle and jingle and be. That's right, sir. That's the jingle bell rock. Did that boy need to run back one more game? Jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bell chime in, jingle bell time. Uh huh. Dancing and prancing, the jingling square. In the frosty air, yeah, what a bright time, it's the right time, to rock right the night away. Jingle bell time, it's a swell time, to go riding in the world sleigh. That's right, boy. Giddy up, That's jingle what I'm talking holes, about. pick up your feet. Jingle around the clock. Tell on. The mix and mingle and jingle and be. That's the jingle bell. That's the jingle bell. That's the jingle bell rock. Ah, now that's what I'm talking about, boy. Before this family come in here and get all up. Hey, don't be blaming this family now, the uncle's out on it. Now, did, that, you guys did a good damn good, I said, damn good job there, you know. But, um, uh, boy, with the eggnog. Like, come on, man. We gotta hurry up, man. We gotta go. I know, man. I'm coming. I'm coming. Ain't nothing like a Christmas party, man. I know, right? I've been looking forward to this. I'm telling you, hey, Jay, hey, what about all the cookies and the brownies, man? Did oh, you grab them? Where are they at? I got them, man. They're already in the trunk, man. Oh, good, 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 good. That's what I'm talking about, man. Come on. We gotta go. Let's go, man. Uh, okay, let's go, man. Car. I'm ready. We man. got everything. We got the for? weed. Yeah. We got the brownies. We got yeah. the cookies. We got got um, the volumes, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that too, man. Uh, come, all right. I think we're ready to go. Come on. Let's go, man. Hold on. One more thing, man. The LSD, man. You got to bring the LSD. I mean, the kids who party, they don't really remember it, man. <laughs> I yeah, know. I got them now, man. Let's get in the car, man. Let's get going. Let's get going, man. Hey, hey. Hurry up, man. Get in here. Get in here. Here I am, man. Let's go. I'm ready, man. Get this thing started, man. All right, Papa. Time to get going. Do the Christmas it's about party. Time, and we going, and we going. Can't wait to get there, man. This is ah, going to be... Look at that over there, man. Look at the bubble butt on that one, man. Yeah, I do see that over there. That is pretty big over there, man. Uh, we got to go, man. You're right. You're right. Yeah, man. Let's punch it, man. Let's... We got no time to wait, metal, be careful, baby. man. We got drugs in the car, you know? We got lots of drugs in the car, so calm down, man. Ah, uh, yeah, nothing like the cold wind going through your travels, you know what I mean? Yeah, man, I understand that. Too bad you ain't got no radio in this car, man. But they oh, still yeah, man. Stolen. Like, everybody's gone away today, man. Like, the Christmas party. They're all over the United States, man. Yeah, it's probably why they stole your whoa, radio, whoa, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Hey, 
Hey man, I think you should slow down a little bit, man. I think you're going a little bit too fast, man. Oh man, you right, you right, you right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I, I, I got you. I got you. All yeah, right, man. man we gonna be okay. Yeah, I can't wait, man. We're almost there, man. Hey, look at that one over there, man. Yeah, but let's focus on. Hey, the mommy. What's going on with you, baby? Huh? What's happening, baby? Oh my goodness, man. <laughs> I'm smoking a joint, man. <coughs> oh, man. That was good. Hold on a minute, good. man. I know that guy over there. Yeah, yeah, That's man. Frank over there, man. Yeah, I that's I think he's going to the man. same Christmas party as us, man. Let's get him, man. Let's stop and pick him up, man. Sounds like a good hey, idea, yo. man. Hey, hey, yo, Frank. Hey, what the fuck? Yeah, fuck? yeah, man. How you doing, there, man? I'm doing good. You going to the Christmas party? You're damn fucking right I'm going to the fucking Christmas party. Hop on in, man. Yeah, man. Hop on in. Uh, There's plenty of you. plenty of room in here, man. Just be, don't get yeah, on no the job. Yeah, no problem, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Th th thanks a lot, guys. Uh, up so you can't walk around out here too long, you know? Yeah, man. I'm going to get going right now. Yeah, we got to get yeah, going. Man, going. Let's go. The fucking police is looking for me, you know? Yeah, we gotta get the fuck up out of here. What do you mean, man? Yeah, oh, we, no, man. Yeah, over there at the Shit, fucking man. McDonald's, they didn't like me too much. Me I don't right know now. why. We got a lot of stuff in the car, man. Uh, what what you yelling at me? Guy for? Over here. I can't believe you, man. Uh, just hurry yeah, up man. and get the, the fuck out of here, okay? I'll explain it later, man. We just gotta make it. Yeah, there you go. Christmas spirit, there you go. Come on, man. Oh, yeah, baby. We're moving in now. Come on, man. Oh, we gotta hurry. Fuck gotta up, slow over down, there. man. You're going way too fast, man. Oh, man. Oh, over shit. there. Yeah. There you Shit, man. Look oh, over there. Oh, shit, man. The fucking cops, man. Oh, oh, fuck, man. See what you guys did? What the fuck did I tell you, man? You didn't listen to Let's me. Go. See what the fuck you guys you got did? All kinds of shit in here, man. Come on, man. We got to get the fuck up out of here. Yeah, like, we really got to get out of here, man. We really don't worry about it, man. Don't worry about it. What do you mean, don't worry about yeah, it? Yeah, man, what you fucking talking about? I got this, about? man. I got this. This is what I do, man. I've been doing this since I'm, like, seven years old or something, man. Well, come on, man. Step on it, man. A long gonna... time ago. Just step on it, man. Don't worry about it. You guys just buckle your seatbelt. I got this. We're going to lose this guy. Ah, oh, damn it. That's what we need. A fucking racing Mexican, huh? Son of a bitch. Here we go, man. So whatever works, huh? Dashing to the snow on the Christmas getaway. Racing down the road, let's get on the freeway. All the drugs we bring, drink and spat it dry. What fun it is to get me a lie and go on the run tonight. Oh, jingle bells run like hell, we got to get away. Oh, what fun it is to ride on the Christmas getaway. Oh, jingle bells run like hell, got to get away. Oh, what fun it is to ride on the Christmas getaway. Going down the road, this car smells like weed. Can't but help but smoke every day of the week. This is what I know. This is what I say, I don't wanna be in jail for all of Christmas Day. Oh, jingle bells run like hell, we got to get away. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a Christmas getaway. Oh, jingle bells run like hell, we got to get away. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a Christmas getaway. Man, come on, guys. Like, we're about to fucking lose them. You know what I'm saying? Dash into the snow on the Christmas getaway. Racing down the road. Let's get on the freeway. <laughs> With all the drugs we bring. Drink it, bear it, ride. What fun it is to get real high and go on the road tonight. Yeah, right. Oh, jingle bells run like hell. We got to get, get away. We lost oh, what fun it is to ride on a Christmas getaway. Oh, jingle bells run like hell, we got to get away. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a Christmas getaway. 
Yeah, man. We lost them, man. I told you, man. Good fucking job there, Mexican. Great job. There we go, man. Damn right. Right over there's the house, man. Let's park and get this stuff out of here, man. Sounds like Let's a damn good quick, idea. Man. Let's knock on the door. All right, right there's a parking spot. Let's go. So now that we got everybody yeah. here, we're going to, uh, well, we got the little Christmas songs, of course, as we know, throughout the yeah, night. Yeah, man. Like, everybody uh, always make all be some Shut dedication up. songs you guys want to dedicate. We could play them. I got plenty of Christmas records. Dun, dun, to be dun, my dun, mom dun, over there. Dun, 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 dun. Real and, songs. Uh, but just Shut little sections, up. Christmas stories. Who wants to tell the first Christmas story, man? Well, you always I, I know I want to. I know that. Okay, now. You always okay, want to tell some story there, Zyle. One at a time, one at a time. We'll take a momentarily through the night, not only one shot. Can we please tell the truth about some okay. of these stories, these made-up words? Like what you, you calling this family songs, some man? kind of lies? We don't be making nothing up. Man, we do it right out of the book like what they're supposed to be. Hey, man, don't worry about it, man. I do this every single year, man. Yeah, man. I got the perfect story about the Santa Claus and his old lady. Everybody knows that it's been on radio stations all around oh, the I world, Oh, I remember man. that, man. He does it like, like every year. Uh, you want to hear the story? I think I'll tell you the story. What you think? It's thought and over about this uh, fat, fat man, you know? Wait, yeah, but wait up, man. Hold on, man. Oh, come on, man. What you mean? You you tell this story every year, man. You know what? Okay, man. Let Go me ahead. Tell you, me. You, you tell your story, man. Yeah, man. I'm going to tell my story, man. We hear your story like every year, so I'm going to tell you a Christmas story about this. Something that nobody ever talks about, man. They always talk about snowmen, and they talk about of fat course, guys man. with big beards. And, you know... You riding reindeer across the sky, man, and I, I like your story there, Cheech, man. Of Especially course, the part man. about the, you know, the him using the, the special magic dust, yeah, man, magic to make dust, it man. To a real little guy, <laughs> so he could go down the chimney and everything. But this is uh, somebody else, man. It's about the oh. Christmas fairy. Wow, yeah, the Christmas right, fairy, man. man. The Christmas fairy is a brand new legend that ain't nobody ever even heard about before, man. Yeah, that's a new Her one for me, Mary man. Mary Jane, she's this little green little fairy, man. She stinks up like the greatest ganja on the planet, man. Oh, wow. Every Christmas, man, she comes out with this stuff called the Christmas trees, man. Christmas trees, man. Yeah, that man. sounds it's fucking really wonderful, man. It's like the man. gift that keeps on giving, man. Keeps on giving? Nah, nah, man, I really mean it. Now, check this out, man. When she was young, man, she used to be a babysitter and stuff, man. Uh, much like most girls right there, man. The kids real well behaved and all that stuff, man. But uh, she she, she kind of did this thing about saving Christmas one time. and uh, But I didn't, I didn't hear the whole story about that part, man. But uh, oh, wow, that I, sounds I know one thing man. about this one, man. I'm going to tell you a story once upon a time, a long, long time ago. Um, there was this guy, he lived with his family in this real bad neighborhood, man. I mean, it was horrible. Kind of like the project, I man. I mean, everywhere you go, there was problems going on outside. The police was always out there. Yeah, it sounds like the down projects, all man. the crackheads, man, and all the people outside, and all the gay people fighting in the alley, man. Oh, and hey, every again, time man. this guy tried to sit outside, man, he had these real rowdy kids, man. They wouldn't, they wouldn't calm down. They was like all over the place, man. And all this guy wanted to do was sit on his porch, man, smoke a little bit of the weed, you know what I mean, get ah. real nice, and just sit down and listen to some nice, smooth rock and roll, man. Rock and but roll, yeah, man. Because every time, you know, he sits outside, he, you know, he's sitting on his porch, either some kind of fight breaks out, or like, there's all kinds of ruckus going on, he's got homeless people, you know, sleeping in there behind uh, his, uh, his, his uh, building right there. You know what I'm saying, man. Sad story. This guy's really upset all the time. He doesn't really like his home, man. His kids are acting up all the time. They won't calm down. You know, they're just jumping all over the place, man. Kind of like your kids, man. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, uh, anyway. So, like, uh, one day he's sitting out there and he's listening to all this stuff going on. It's getting close to Christmas time. It's like, you know, a week or two to Christmas time. I think it was part of the 12 days of Christmas, man. 12 days, and, baby. Uh, he's sitting there. He's uh, drinking on some whiskey, man. He was eating some magic mushrooms. Oh. And, you know, doing some of that uh, magic dust, man. That, that yeah, that's about, what I'm Chief. talking about. 
And out of nowhere, he's just sitting there ready to pass out, man. Like it was, and then all of a sudden, this big ruckus breaks out, and he looks up and his, he sniffs, and he's like, "What's that smell, man? That smells like the, the greatest weed in the world, man." Wow. And he looks around, and he's looking around, and there she is, man, the most beautiful, as hot as little babe with these little wings, thinking up like. Ganja man looking down at him and he got all scared man he almost fell off the chair and he's like oh my god man look you're a fairy man and she's like yeah man I am man. that's crazy yeah. man that sounds like, awesome whoa man what, what made you come and see me he's like well you hear that song on the radio man he's playing Janis Joplin man so anytime you play Janis Joplin man I, I show up you know in the 12 days of Christmas yeah the Janis like, Joplin yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. He's like, wow, man, so what can I do you for? She's like, listen, man, I'm here to help you out. You got all these problems here. He's like, uh, listen, and she whispers in his ear. This little... What's she say, man? And all of a sudden, the guy's eyes got real big, man. He's like, wow, that's a great idea, man. So he quickly, you know, he goes, but wait up, man. I, I don't have enough weed to do that, man. And she goes... Well, my name's Mary Jane, and I'm the Christmas weed fairy, man. Oh, she's so like you, a she's like strawberry, man. Tonight, and when you wake up in the morning, you're gonna find all kinds of weed underneath your pillow, man. It's like my uncle Strawberry, man, my cousin, know, man. man. So anyway, he goes in. He's drunk. He's all messed up. He's tripping on shrooms. He's thinking he's just tripping and stuff. Then he sits there, and he, you know, he, he passes out in his bed, man. And his wife's looking at him, man. She's like, this guy is a fucking bum, man. But you'd probably well, play with a thing, you know? And holy shit, his wife is freaking out. He's like, what's wrong, honey, man? She's like, look, man, under your pillow. And he looks under, and there's weed everywhere, man. I mean, like, the Colombian gold, man. Oh, that's hair, good stuff, man. <laughs> like, per, you know, all kind, all the best weed you can think of, man. It's like stuffed inside of his pillow. Like somebody took all the cotton out of the pillow and completely stuffed it with weed, man. And it was like everywhere, man. He's like, and the guy realized that he could that Christmas fairy man was like real, man. Yeah. And he's like. He tells his wife about the night before, and his wife was like, oh, my God, that's a great idea, you know? So they all sit there, and he goes, we're going to give away all kinds of goodies for Christmas now. What thing about all this thing? I'm going I'm to tell you. So he sits there, and his wife, he goes out. They spend all their food stamps, man, on all these baking goods. They're making cookies. I've done that before, brownies, man. And they're, they're only making them 50-50, man. You know what 50-50 means? Yeah, half and half, man. Yeah, man. Man, that means half of them got weed in it, and half of them don't got weed in it. <laughs> so they all bag it up and they separate it into two separate cans. And on Christmas Eve, that's a cool trick, man. They go outside and they go visiting all the people that are walking by, man. And all the little kitties that come by, it's like Merry Christmas, man. Have some cookies, man. Have some brownies, man. So he sit there and he give it to him, and all the kids are happy. And then he sees all the crackheads, man, and the gay guys and all the people that are starting all the ruckus and he's like you know what they're like yo what's that guy doing man he's like he's giving stuff away for christmas man let's go see what he got so they go over there and he goes man what's up and he goes hey guys man a merry christmas man don't worry man i got stuff for you too man and he goes to the second bin and he pulls out all of these laced cookies and brownies that are loaded up with meat. Wow, man. man. Here, man. He hands it out we should go all see this the guy, man. Crackheads, all the bums that are sleeping in his parking spot. Gives them all up and all this other stuff. Now, one thing about all these guys, you know, they come and go and come and go because they're all on probation and stuff, you know. Oh, shit. So, you know, he, he gives them all away until he runs out of cookies. And then what it comes down to, he goes inside the house, him and his old lady, they pick up the phone and they call, you know, the county parole office. Oh, that's rotten, man. Everybody (laughs) that they gave the cookies to. 
So at night, instead of Santa Claus coming through, the, the county parole office came through and started picking up all of these people. One oh, after the no. other, started picking them all up, all the crackheads, all the gay guys, all the bums, all the drug dealers, everything that's going on, and to bring in all the problems, you know? It's a popo so, party, you know, man. He wakes up Christmas morning, and he gets outside, and he's like... Wow, man, he's like, yo, it's quiet out there, man. He's like, hey, yeah, so, they're huh? all gone, man. And the neighbor comes out and he's like, hey, man, this is like, this is like awesome, man. And there's like nobody out here. He goes, yeah, man, they're all gone, man. I think they all got piss tests this morning. They're all sitting in jail now. And he pulls up his chair on his patio, man. He's sitting there and then all of a sudden he hears... His kid bouncing around, and he goes, Ah, uh, somebody always got to ruin it, man. I just thought I got away with it, man. It would have been a perfect Christmas just to sit on my porch and not have to, you know, worry about any noise. But his kids are bouncing all around, so and all of a sudden the guy remembered that the fairy said that she used to be a babysitter, man. So oh, yeah. He put some Janis Joplin. And That's then, right, man. And, and Oh, man, there it was again, man. All the greatest weed smell in the world shows up, and there she goes. She just shows up out of nowhere, man. And it's just so freaking cool, you know? And then she sat there whispers in his ear, and she, he's like, oh, that's a great idea, man. So he goes quickly, runs in the house, and grabs the rest of his brownies and cookies that him and his wife made, and threw them all on the kitchen table and told his kids, oh, you can eat the brownies that you want, man. Ah, All yeah. The kids start tearing <laughs> <these> brownies <laughs> up, man. They just start tearing them up. And within a half hour, they were knocked out for like three days, man. They didn't wake up at all. The rest of Christmas Day, he sat there on his porch, man. All the quiet outside in the street. The kids are sleeping. And they're listening to Janis Joplin getting high with Mary Jane, man. Just Tim and his old lady and his neighbor all sitting there having a Christmas party of their own. And that was just the Christmas fairy, man. It's the gift that keeps on giving, you know? Yeah, Not the gift that keeps on giving, man. The kids. She was a babysitter, you know? You know, she puts them all down and all that stuff. Stuff. But not only that, man, he got rid of all the people in the neighborhood, all gave hot urines when the parole officers came through, didn't even know they had it in their system, and it's just the sweetest thing, and that was the most merriest Christmas of that old man's oh, life. Oh, oh, oh. later, <laughs> him and his family ended up moving out of there, man. Story of what a wonderful Christmas fairy, and she really does exist, man. I don't care what Ziola says. Oh, come on, this son. This lady exists, and she's around all year long, and if you ever want want to meet her all you got to do is play a little bit of janice joplin during the 12 days of christmas man it's just i don't know about all that but i know she sound like a mighty yeah, fine yeah. old lady yeah. there wow man so only one question man is she single man ah man all that fucking bear you know Holy shit. Yeah. Really fucking needed that, you know what I'm saying? Holy shit. Look at that over there. Wow, man. Look at that. That's fucking Willie's wife. What is she doing up there? Wow, man. This guy, he's, how the fuck this guy end up? I, I gotta say this. Yeah, yeah, hello. Yeah, Willie. Yeah, who's this? This is Frank. Frank Rizzo. How you doing? How you? I said, how you doing, Willie? Listen, man, I'm over here sitting there taking a piss, and I'm looking out across the yard over there, and I see your hun. What? Yeah, your wife. She's up there in the second floor window open. What? Yeah, got the titties out the ass and everything. Like, holy shit. Yeah. Are you fucking goddamn kidding me? That's some kind of fucking joke. No, that ain't no fucking joke. Your wife is hot, man. How did you land that? Damn shit, you son of a bitch. I ain't lying to you, buddy. I'm telling you. She got that little uh, strawberry tattoo. Oh, yeah. 
He had a tattoo on her ass, the strawberry. Oh, fuck. Do you know about that? I wanna, what you, Cause I can fucking see it. I'm sitting there looking at the bathroom what? window. You son of a bitch, I'll fucking kill ya. You ain't gotta hey. fucking kill nobody. I'm sitting there just wanna know how to fuck you. Hey, hey. What's my lady? Like, listen here, buddy. I just, it's a simple fucking question. How does a fucking meathead knucklehead like you end up with something like that? Fuck you, buddy. I wanna know because I, I need some advice there, buddy. You I'm giving you a face? compliment, yeah? You got a nice set of bosom sitting over there, man. She's sitting there wide open. Ain't like there's no, not even a curtain up or nothing. you damn right I do. In fact, she's waving you. at me right now. How you doing, honey? Hey, baby, how, you, what the, how the fuck you doing, huh? What the hey, fuck? Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, it's Frank. You remember me right from the grocery store last week? What? Hey, Will. Will, he listen. Oh, man. Fuck hey. Kill that bitch. It's all damn. Oh, shit. Yeah, man, I want to thank you all, all of you for being here with us today. You know, no problem, Christmas man. party. Yeah, yeah, man. We have a good time That's together. Yeah. Not every time you get, yeah, you know, man. the whole no family problem. and everybody together. Mm -hmm. It's great uh -huh. to have everyone yeah, here. No problem, man. And, um... Hey, uh, I like Mr. Cook. Let us have some fun. Don't mind the kids. They're running around doing what yeah, they got to do. Yeah, yeah. Merry Christmas. We're going to do what man. we got to do. Oh, yeah, man. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, we're, we're glad to be here, man. Like, uh, we really appreciate it. And on behalf of me and my brother here, man. Yeah, man. We, we try to contribute. We came here with some cookies and brownies, man. Lots sure of cookies and it. brownies, Lots of those kids, man. man um, I don't think they're going to be a problem much more tonight. Nah, man. nah, so, man. man nah. Me and Cheech got here. We seen they were, like, bouncing all over the place. Like all over That's everything, man. Do. Don't worry about it, man. We took care of it. We got yeah, 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 man. We did that. For hey, Pat, that shit over here, man. Visited yeah, by yeah. Uh, you know the away. Christmas spirit of Mary Jane, you know. What? Yeah, the weed spirit, man. The weed spirit, man. You can't oh, be giving old kid no that them damn brownies. Don't be mad. Oh, nah, man, it's Goodness okay, bro. Earth, man, you know what I'm saying, man. But yeah, man. Uh, this is a great party, uh, man. Like, well, we're having yeah, a great man. time yeah. here, man. But uh, you need a little bit of something like music. Man. Yeah, man. We need some rock you and know, roll, man. Music. You know, something good, man. What you oh, got, man? Damn. Hey, uh, man, by the way, man, uh, like, what's that smell, man? Um, like, you listen, son, uh, uh, you guys can we just have to excuse me out for a minute. Um, that goddamn. You know, uh, I just got to uh, use you, your, uh, where's your facilities at, like? Uh, that goddamn you know, okay, yeah, well, I'll yeah, tell you. Yeah, yeah, oh. Uh, you need to get your fat ass up and get your what? ass to the damn bathroom. Man, shut up, Myrtle. Oh, you, you shut the fuck shut up, up, you fat old you son of a fast. bitch. Man, you're just gonna end up just like that dear Uncle Looney anyway. You need Fuck to shut the hell up. What? You know what I said there? Man, you shut up, Frank. I ain't shutting the hell up. You shut the hell up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All you ever do is give the old man some shit, you know? And we're tired of hearing your big mouth you walking around here like a big old bully. Ain't nobody scared of you. Hey, hey. Yeah, I'm telling you right now, hey. ain't nobody scared of you. Yo, Frank. What you, like, hey. You got to stay there. Yo. Like what you saying? Who, who the hell are you anyway? Oh, you you know another fucking one come of the Italian come, come on, here trying to talk some kind of shit, huh? You know on, you ain't fellas. a real nice guy, there. Well, I ain't nah, scared of you. I don't care who the fuck you are. You understand Calm down that? Now. You and that little old man right there looking like Yoda. Oh yeah, yeah you gonna mess with the old guy? Now, huh? I'm asking yeah, you. Yeah, you think you a tough me. guy, ain't you? What you say, old man? I, I'm sorry, I didn't get. Let me tell you something, unless you better listen and listen good. He'll beat you to death. He'll beat you to death. That's right. He's going to let oh, you yeah, have it. He's a nice guy. Yeah, you know what he's saying. He eats lightning and crap. We stand up. You just got enough. Yeah, big yeah, old yeah, mouth. Yeah, 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 tell him, Rock. Blast this teeth out, Rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You might be a little bit. Blast this teeth out. Get him, Rock. Get him. 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 Now, I don't want to have to tell you people again. Now, one way or the other, this family's going to get together and we're going to have some fun. And I... What you talking about, lady? I'll be your leader. You're going to be a what? We're going to sing a Christmas carol. My ass, I'm doing that. Yes, you are, Frank. Each and every single one of you are going to participate whether you like it or not. The hell I am. I'm Frank Rizzo and I don't sing Christmas carols. I ain't doing it. Ethel, what you out your rabbit ass mind? Telling you, mother, what you crazy? What you think you gonna do here anyway? Oh, come on, come on, Myrtle. We can do this like we did growing up. Come Frank Rizzo ain't doing this, man. We're gonna start with Frank Rizzo ain't doing this. 
On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Jelly Tap the Bell as Demon On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Two blue balls knocking, man Jelly Tap the Bell as Demon Okay On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Blue barrel knocking me. Hey, jelly tap the bell last day. On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me four jello shots. Three pothead brownies. Two blue balls knocking me. Jelly tap the bell as demon. Oh, my turn. Fourth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Five nipple rings Four jello shots Three pothead brownies Two blue ball knocking me And jelly tab the bell last day Frank, I ain't doing it Sixth day of Christmas Get him, My Mickey. true Get love him. gave to me A six pack of beer, Mickey Yeah Five nipple rings Four jello shots Two blue balls knocking And jelly tap the bell on, last day On the seventh day of Christmas My true love gave to me Seven porno mags, you know Six pack of beer, Mickey Way to go, Five go, nipple rings Four jello shots Three pothead brownies Two blue balls knocking And jelly tap the bell last day on the eighth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Eight volumes, man Seven porno mags over here Six pack of beer, Mick Yeah Five nipple rings Four jello shots Three pothead brownies Two blue balls knocking And jelly tabs of LSD <laughs> On the ninth day of Christmas, my Look true love here. gave to me Lines of cocaine Eight volumes, man Seven porno mags over here Six pack of beer, Mick Kill him, Rock Five nipple rings Wait a get him ah. Four jello shots Three pothead brownies Two blue balls knocking And jelly tabs of LSD on the tenth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. How you doing, like man? Ten baby daddies. Lines of cocaine. Eight volumes, man. Seven point on Six max. pack of beer, Mick. Yeah, yeah, Five yeah. Five nipple rings. Kill him the dad. Four jello shots. Three pothead brownies. Two blue balls knocking. And jelly tabs of LSD. On the eleventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Like ten baby daddies Lines of cocaine Eight volumes, man Seven porno mags, you know Six pack of beer, Mick Five Get nipple rings <laughs> Four jello shots Three pothead brownies Two blue balls knocking And jelly tabs of LSD on the twelfth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Twelve fine Italian babes, you know? How many deals you got? Like ten baby daddies Lines of cocaine, man Eight volumes, man Seven porno mags <laughs> Six pack of beer, man. Get him, Rock Get him, Five nipple rings Come on, <laughs> Four jello shots Three pothead brownies Two blue balls knocking And jelly tabs of LSD That was crazy hey, That wasn't so bad now, was it? Wow <laughs> Nah, man, that was pretty cool Right? Well, that was okay, that was okay Merry Christmas, everybody But I gotta use the phone I gotta call my old lady It's, uh, like you said, it's Christmas, you know? Someone's in. Yeah. Are you guys, are you done? Someone's in. Uh, I need you to hurry up, little one. I said someone's in here.
Listen, I really need to get up in there. I need to get in there. Wait your damn turn. Come on now. I said fuck off. Listen, man, I can't in there hold this shit no more. I gotta get up in there. Oh, you... You know what? I got this shit on speed dial. <laughs> oh, damn. She broke my life alert. 911, what's your emergency? Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking, uh, maybe you can send somebody uh, over here for me. Yeah? Yeah, I need some help up over here. Maybe, I don't know. Oh, come on again. What do you mean, oh, come geez. on? I, I really got to go. This emergency. I got to take me a shit. It's going to be all night. Oh. Only thing with you people. What the hell are you talking about, son? So listen, man. What's your emergency? My emergency, I got to take a damn shit. And these kids up here in about in their damn bathroom don't want to let me fuck in there. I gotta take a shit, man. They don't really understand. I can't hold this shit down in them no more. There's nothing here that we can do, sir. Listen, man, you send somebody over here to the house and uh, get these kids up out the fucking damn bathroom. Sir, did you get a handy on I'm that? I'm dead serious. I, I was like, oh, oh nah, God, damn, damn shit. This is, uh, that just that wasn't no preparation, H. Man, listen, uh, I need you to send somebody over here for me, please. There's nobody. They gotta, you gotta get these kids up out the damn bathroom. Mm -hmm. There's nobody that we can send over there, man. You, you, you gotta hit Come on, man. Maybe, maybe you can send a fire marshal over here or something with a fucking axe. Just chop the damn door down. I don't give a fuck. Just get them the fuck up out of here. Sir, I'm sorry. We can't do that. What I got? You can either call code enforcement or some shit. Like, oh, 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 oh yeah. Man, you, 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 you see what you're gonna do, DD? No. Come on, on send anybody over here, sir. Hey. Goddamn motherfucker. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh, yeah. Good thing I brought me some cleaner drawers. Come on, lady. Come on, lady. Hello? Yeah, Caroline? Yeah, this is she. Hi, how you doing? What can I do for you? Uh, I'm doing pretty good. This, uh, this is Frank. Uh, my name is Frank Rizzo. Uh, hey, uh, every single year I'll be calling you guys there to try to get you to come over here. I know your daughter be selling them Christmas cookies. Uh, she selling those Christmas cookies again this year? Um, okay. But, yeah. nah. My daughter isn't selling Christmas cookies this year. No Christmas cookies? None at all? Oh, damn, man. Uh, is there anything uh, maybe she's trying to sell? Because uh, I was kind of hoping I could get you over here to my place, you know? Well, she's selling these Christmas jugs. Christmas year. jugs, huh? Yeah, they're really nice. Yeah, hey, Christmas jugs, uh, you know what? I love jugs. I've loved jugs ever since I was in puberty, you know? Um, jugs is always good. I, I think I like jugs as a baby, too, because I think my mama breastfed me and stuff. So I'm pretty sure I like breast since I was born. So, uh, why don't you bring your jugs on over here to my place, and, uh, you know, we could sit there and talk about it, uh, the money later on. You know that, Caroline? Um, excuse me, sir? Oh, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Come on, dear lady. Uh, you're Caroline. I know exactly who you are. You should be, uh, coming over here. Just bring your jugs over here, and I'll play them with them a little bit. Uh, just bring them over uh, here, okay? Oh, my! What you getting all bent out of shape for, lady? It doesn't make any sense. You know, it's the Christmas season. It's time to be in the Christmas giving spirit, um, you know? You give me uh, something and I give you something. Oh. You bring your jugs over here for me for Christmas. And I got a poco stick over here. You know, you got you oh up on the poco stick while I play with your jugs for Christmas. It's happy holidays, you know what I mean, all around. Are you? Of course I am. Why the hell wouldn't I be? This is who I am. This is what I do. It's Christmas. Happy holidays. Are you fucking serious? Yes, I'm fucking serious. Why where the fuck wouldn't I be serious? What the fuck is wrong with you, you know? Who the hell do you think you are? I am Frank Rizzo. That's who the hell I am. And you know who I am, and I know who you are. You're Caroline. Oh, my. They made a song about you. I know exactly what it is I'm talking about, and you're one of those little loosey floozy Oh, things. my. You got that little kid over there. This time, you got to keep the kid at home, because I'm not into that underage stuff. You understand what I'm saying? Oh. But it's okay. I used to like that little song, too, back in karaoke. You know, sweet Caroline, fucking slut. Oh. I know all about it, but now I'm trying to pay him, help you make some money on that profession. You know, just bring your jugs over here. You're an ugly son of a... 
I wouldn't really go there. I wouldn't really call me ugly. I happen to think I'm a pretty nice looking guy. Uh, you know, and I got a nice pogo stick like I said over here. Fuck you, buddy. That's what I'm trying to accomplish, but you're sitting there and giving me a hard time. I got this hard-earned money my grandmother gave me for Christmas. Why don't you just get over here? I got a couple of scratch-offs for you while you ride the pogo stick. Oh. Come on there, Caroline. Bring your jugs over here. Asshole. Well, I get the feeling that that didn't go so well. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Let's back to this party over here. So, like, I'm not trying to ruin the mood. Everyone's having a good time. Apparently, everyone's feeling pretty good right now. Feeling um, real nice. But I'm just curious. <laughs> Me and the kids were wondering. We were talking about it. What exactly happened to Uncle Looney anyway? Dad. I mean, Dad. No one no exactly worry. told me what happened to him and how it happened he to died. him. Dad, I told you. Real had. sad stories. Yeah, Uncle Uncle Looney Dad got passed oh. on now. Huh? Oh, my. Well, why wouldn't anybody tell us? Well, it was the way he wanted it. You know, he didn't, he didn't want everybody there. Well, anyway. we would have liked to have gone to the funeral, too, you know. I don't worry about it. I didn't go. It was nice, though, funeral. Don't well, worry about it. What was the it cause of the death? the way he wanted it. He was a sick motherfucker. Yeah, he was, Zyola. He was, he had his issues, but... You tell him, Murdo. You explain it to him. Sure, I, I might as well just explain to you exactly what it is that they're happening now. You know what I mean, please do, please okay. do. It, it all started off with you know he, he had this issue where everywhere he went, he forget his shoes, and I he ended that. up traveling all these different places, and he always sit there walking around with them damn nasty ass socks on, caught himself there some of that um, athletics foot. You know what I'm saying? You mean athlete's foot? Yeah, that's exactly what I said. I said that athletics foot. You know, and um, it, <laughs> it, it eventually he started getting real sick and everything. And we sit there and send him to the doctor. You know, I'm down there about where we live. The doctor got his own there farm. You know, he does everything on the farm. Farm. And so we sent him there. We don't have a hospital down there, you know. You, you, so we sent him to the doctor's farm. And he sat there, and um, the doctor started getting him better. And, and, doctor, and, and Uncle Lou, he started feeling real good. He started getting up more energetic. His feet all clear up. Oh, that's and good. The doctor even had that. And he even had him there wearing them there, there, there boots on his feet, you know. And uh, everything started going away and started clearing up. What well, went wrong? Uncle Loomy sat there and, and fucked around, you know, because we used to have a problem with him with a uh, billy goat behind the, the thing and uh, oh, no. behind our barn. And, and one thing about him is um, he had his way with the billy goats. I sit there right there and he sit there pass away a uh, billy goatitis. Billy what? Uh, oh, wait up. I'm sorry. It is a billy goat. Billy Goatosis. Uh, he had a go problem toast. with that bestiology, you know what I'm saying? You mean bestiality? Exactly what I said. That bestiology, you know. He, he, oh, my God. It was Billy Goatosis. Billy Goatosis. Billy Goatosis. That's right. He, he said that uh, when he was there, he didn't realize the doctor that we have down there in his farm not only work on people, he, he's also the, the county veterinarian, you know. So he said that uh, he he's always working on animals as long as the same time we're working on the people. And, and one night, Uncle Looney got out and went down there to the barn and found that he had Billy Goat up there. Pass that shit. And uh, he goes up there and Billy Goat and he do, doing his Billy Goat things. And uh, he didn't realize that the Billy Goat had Billy Goat houses, you know. And um, that's why. <laughs> Billy Goatosis, and he was doing that bestiology and stuff, and exactly like I said, bestiology, you know, and um, he, well, he didn't realize what this uh, <laughs> is a Billy Goatosis is like, an STD for, it's an STD between the Billy Goats, STDs. and um, Uncle Looney ended up getting that, and he died like 10 days later. and um, don't, don't worry too much about it if you have a funeral, because we didn't really have one anyway. We just uh, kind of like chopped up his body in the wood chipper. What? And threw it inside of an uh, old shoe box because he, he figured he would like that scene. He finally started wearing shoes. So he, he, oh we put him God, inside of what? a shoe box and we buried him in a field there somewhere. Um, oh, man. And uh, yeah, that's how, that's what happened to Uncle Louie. Now we all live, live happily ever after. And uh, they're, 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 that's how it goes. Holy shit. How the hell did I get born into this family anyway? Well, now, 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 now that there's a whole nother story. <laughs> yeah, sure is. A whole nother story. Your mama was a wildfire. Yeah, you were quite a floozy there. They were just straight up, man. <laughs> the whole town like that. Was... Oh, come on, guys. It's not nice to tell him that, that his mother was a slut. What? No way. 
She don't, don't listen to them. She was not. I think I remember that old lady, man. That was like a long time ago, but I, I remember her, man. Yeah, man. Like, that was back in, like, 74, man. Yeah, Poppy. Yeah, that was her, man. <laughs> man, she, that was a good time. Remember that, man? I won't forget it. Yeah, man. <laughs> Damn, man. Like, we can be your dad. Oh, shit. I didn't even think of that, man. Maybe you should be calling me Poppy, huh? <laughs> wow, like, look at you guys, man. You guys are, like, totally wrecked. Yeah, I know, like, the room is fucking spinning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, uh, time for the next story. Who's going to do the second one? i do it. you going to do All it, right, Myrtle? Not you. Oh, that damn man, Myrtle. Shut yeah. up, Zao. All right, guys, come on now. Calm down. Calm down, calm down. Let's, let's, uh... Get this thing moving here. We ain't got all night. You know who's coming tonight. Ooh. Well, oh. Oh. You know. Santa. Yeah. Oh, fuck that son of a bitch. Oh, fuck that man. He don't ever come over. He ain't nothing but trouble. you damn right. One thing me and him are going to agree on. But well, anyway, let me tell you my story, okay? So there's about everybody. There's somebody there that everybody there knows. Called Frosty the Snowman. You know Yeah, Frosty? that guy. I know so let me tell you about this guy and his... Frosty the Snowman wasn't always the good guy. Everybody looked at Frosty the Snowman like he's so good. Well, of course. Hell no, Atto. Absolutely not. That man was never good. He used to be a criminal. You lying. He used to be you a lying. criminal, man. I know exactly what I'm talking about, there's Aula. Wow. Now, he used to be a drug dealer. Well, Yep, up there in that there North Pole all the way up there. A drug he caused dealer? all kinds of problems. In fact, he even got kicked the hell out of there. I damn well mean it. Every single year he go up there with that cocaine. You know what I'm talking about. That's why they called him the snowman. He wasn't sitting there, you know, like some guy that rain from the sky and kids go putting them together. That's a bullshit-ass lie. What really happened was... It go like this. He was a drug dealer. They called him the snowman because he sold the blow, man. You know what I'm saying? Wow, man. Absolutely. <laughs> but anyway, he used to go up there and get Santa Claus up there all hooked on cocaine. The good stuff, man. And you know, Santa Claus <laughs> went there and lose all this damn weight every single year. By January, it's funny. It's like clockwork, you know? You know, Santa Claus lose the weight, he gets all skinny, and reindeer's all fucked up. They can't fly. They can't do none of that shit because everybody's on the damn snowman. You know what I'm saying? And it's just crazy because Rudolph was his absolute number one customer. But anyway, Rudolph. let me tell you how it went. One day he's over there, and July come around. And all of a sudden, Frosty just disappeared. And everybody said that. They, oh, he melted away. That was a lie. It was a cover-up. Like some conspiracies up there. That's, that's a conspiracy. That's, yep, that's exactly what I'm telling you. Exactly. Exactly. Conspiracies. Well, that man was being arrested everywhere. He was spending time in jail. He was locked up. And then right around the time it get cold, he get the bail money and get the hell up out of there. Well, you I'm telling you, every Myrtle. single year that man said they try to ruin Christmas with that drug cocaine. I'm telling you, that's exactly what happened. So one year, everything got real bad and stuff. They had some real, like, real bad weather and all kind of stuff like that. And Frosty felt bad because he really liked up, up there here when they didn't move, move, move nowhere else, you know. So he, he said, yeah, yeah, I'm telling you, I don't. He said, there and he said that he tried to go up there, and they told him he couldn't be there no more. He got everything all messed up, and it was getting dangerous up there. The weather was getting real bad, and it was this big, giant monster. They called him blah, 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 snowman. Running around, making all kinds of trouble up there, too. So Frosty got this crazy idea. Now he said there, I'm telling you, he got everybody fucked up. He even got the elves fucked up. He got the elves so damn fucked up, he quit his damn job, tried to go become a dentist. Didn't even know a damn thing what he was doing. Wow, man. <laughs> That's some shit. That's crazy, hey, man. man. Well, that was the fuck realizing up, that, you know, he got to become, just up there, save them from Christmas, you know? So he goes up there, and he, no one knows he's up there, he's hiding out. 
She's hiding out in the igloo somewhere. Laying low, man. Yeah, he sit there and they waiting. And he's just waiting in the mountainside. Because every, every, now when Dan did him, what'd you say? You know, blah, I'm no snowman. Come down from up there in the mountains. And start racing and I'm making a ruckus coming down there. And this is a big son of a bitch. You know what I'm saying? This is a big son of a bitch. He's a giant. It's just kind of crazy. So, he, you know, anybody go mess with this this thing, he would be out there rabbit ass mind. You know what I'm saying? Real crazy. Absolutely. So one day, Frosty said they try to make friends with this thing. Because everybody knew Frosty was the bad guy. He was the snowman, man. That's where you went to get the blow, man. That's right. So they go up there. And Frosty one day said they make some friends. They see that. Listen here, man. I'll give you some freebie. Try this freebie right here. Go ahead. That the big blah 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 bottom of the snow, man. Look at this stuff. And he's like, what the hell is this going on? So he sit there. Got that man all fucking hooked on that thing of the cocaine. So they they hooked us cocaine. He start cooking that shit in the crack cocaine. And next thing you know, all his teeth fall out. And then they're in the fake store, and they fucking telling you the, the little fucking elf sit there. Nah, that's not what happened. He lost all his feet because his teeth, because he was hooked up on that crack cocaine, man. But finally, he got od and died. And everybody found out that it was Frosty the Snowman, man. It was crazy. So they told Frosty, old Santa, sit there, Mrs. Claus, this lady, you know, this old lady, sit there. Sit there, go call Frosty to the house, calls his phone number. He picks up. And she said, I need you to come over here. So he goes over there and he's just sitting there. And she said, look, my husband all fucked up. Yeah, he's so skinny. Is that what yeah, you? man. So he said, I think I can help you. But she goes, cocaine don't get no, no nobody no weight. They get all skinny and shit. Yeah, that's true, well, man. He's like, look, man. I saw the blow man, but I know a man. That can help you out. Whoa. So the cool like, dude, okay, man. So he goes, it's one of my connects. Sell something that they, he don't sell. He's only he one place, on man. He calls his little fairy lady up named Mary Jane. There she yeah, is, yeah. man. Mary Just Jane again. Plan. You're yeah. right. I told so you he's our right old man. That was another <laughs> story. He's in there playing a the rock and roll up there. He's in there smoking. Frog, the snowman starts smoking out that pipe of his. <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite way of so doing her bones, man. Jenny Joplin up there. You know what I'm saying? You start smelling this great aroma to smell all oh, throughout the North Pole. And I think I'm this little fairy lady. And Frosty's like, listen, honey, I need you to do me a favor. I, can, I need you to give me some of that with that weed so I can get saying, ha, ah, you need to gain some weight. Christmas coming up. We got to save a place. Got to get a man. Christmas, man. Christmas, Myrtle. Yeah, that's right. So he, she gave him what he needed. He went back and got sand all stone for the next three weeks. All the end of the day was eat with the munchies. Get the munchies, eating everything. Cheesecake, cookies, brownies, eating all kinds of stuff. Eating all the fattest. Mrs. Claus was sitting there getting all the fattiest food in the, in the world. Sound like you. <laughs> Santa Claus eating and he's getting fatter. He's getting fatter and he's getting fatter. And Frosty's making everybody in North Pole happy because now Santa Claus is fat. Go to man. And go give the toys to all those motherfuckers that don't deserve it because that motherfucker don't ever come to my house. You know what I'm saying? I know that, man. But that's okay. That's okay. I see you, fat man. I see you. He ain't never come up. Well, anyway, well, when storm the storm, it goes like this. There's a big, real bad storm coming. And it get real stormy, man. And it's like Santa Claus is like, I can't see out there. So how the hell am I supposed to, to, to fly this all these toys all around the world? And he goes over to his stash and he goes, there's another problem. I ain't got no more magic dust, man. And Frosty's like, Santa, I can get you some of that damn magic dust. And he goes, you can? And Frosty's like, yeah, man, I'm Frosty the Snowman, the one that got the blow, man. And you already know, man, that you can come because I know, man. <laughs> that's right, that's exactly what the, what, what the fuck is this going on. So Frosty Wayne got the hookup and then got the you know, magic dust and got these everybody all ready to go. Only problem is it's so damn foggy outside, nobody could get anything going on. What are they going to do? Rudolph, he's just sitting there all fucked up. Oh no. They're like, they can't get his nose to work. He's lazy. He didn't go, he ain't got no energy. And Frosty's like, I know just what I need. Christmas is ruined. Gets himself up there a nice big old couple of lines of cocaine. Gives it to Rudolph. 
Rudolph snipped all that shit up and got so damn high, he got all wired and all of a sudden got all kinds of energy. And his nose got so red from sniffing so much cocaine, it started to glow. And Santa seen it and said, holy shit, damn motherfucker, you lit. You damn lit, you know what I'm saying? Yay. And that's it. The, 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 the next thing you know, Santa's like, I got an idea. You, you be my headlights, man. He it's put a great up idea. The and he went around and they said they'd do a good thing. And uh, he go around there and hand out all the toys to all the motherfuckers that don't deserve it. Of course, you already know that dumb ass, ba ass bastard. Don't ever stop by my house. You That's know what I'm true. saying? Every single year I wait for that motherfucker. He don't show the fuck up. Every year. Anyway, Frosty became a hero. And he's been a good guy ever since. That's the true story. And everyone lived happily ever after up there in the North Pole. And that's just how that real story go. That's an incredible man. story. And you already know it. Yeah, it's, it's a cool, great man. story, Myrtle. That's a great really story, like man. I I gotta admit that. That was that was You out of your mind. Maybe. But well, that's Frosty the Snowman. The one who got the blow, man. I knew Frosty was in it. Well, you man. guys are just something else. Yeah, he's like a really nice guy, you know. <laughs> right, Mick? Yeah, Brock. Who's next? Who gonna sing you want a song? Thing? I'll give you a song. Oh, you I'm gonna do dedicate it, this to you, Peter. Oh, you, boy, Peter, it's in trouble that's now. right. You. I heard that one. This is your damn baby. Tell you, Peter, you better take off now, son. Do one for your M. Uh huh. You tell that Peter pop all over that crit bitch. I'm just gonna add the beats. <laughs> Last Christmas, I gave you my heart The very next day, you gave it away This year, I'm making it clear I want my child support bitches <laughs> Last Christmas, Pete, I gave you my heart The very next day, you gave it away This year I'm making it clear I want my child support bitches You get your self Peter All year long I was good to you Oh damn uh -huh. Get what you have Don't let it go oh. son I gave you the eye Now It just hurt me Oh, calm down. And I right keep on. thinking, oh boy, Peter, this is your baby. Tell him, shoot. Uh, oh, what a nice That's nip your nip son, nip. Peter. That's your son. Oh, I'm out of here. Oh, damn. What, where you going? But hold on. You got to come back here. Oh, no, you got to come back. You can't leave, Rita. Listen to your mother. This is Ethel. Oh, oh, damn. Somebody's got to continue the song. Oh, come on now. Oh, oh, no, damn. What you doing? Shit. Last Christmas, I laid me a fart. The very next day, it drifted away. Christmas dinner isn't bad this year. <laughs> so I'm building something special. <laughs> this Christmas I'm leaving a fart that's gonna stick around all new year. <laughs> that's right, I'm making it clear. I'm leaving you something special. It's like that dinner and that Yeah, you know, uh, uh -huh. You remember some of the dinners we had, Myrtle? Yeah. I know. I know what you're talking about, girl. Boy, did they rubble in the tumbly and the rumbly, you know? Black Southern cook. I, I know. Yes. Yes, Christmas. I'm gonna leave a big gift for you. This Christmas. I'm gonna leave a nice big fat load for you. Fuck that cold. You better watch what you put in that dinner. Right, Rocket? Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> uh-huh. It's a uh, turn. That's not true. It's so melt, son. I love Christmas dinner. The one Christmas thing. 
Last Christmas I laid me off on The very next day it drifted away This year I'm making it clear I'm leaving you something special This Christmas I'll leave my part It's gonna last till New Year Yeah, I'm making it clear I'm building something up special I know just like that Uncle Zola Hey, oh, yeah, yeah So nice Anybody else oh, got the issue? I know how to do it I What about it. you, Rocky? I laid a stinker once huh? Against that, uh, that Club of Lane guy, you know Great mix That last Christmas I laid me off on The very next day It drifted away this year, I'm leaving it till New Year's I'm building up something special for you oh. That was wonderful I oh, just, just like the old family up. right there When that Zola Read up, baby Go watch your mouth, your mother. Go get that girl Hey, we go get that girl She should have run away in that song there <laughs> Auntie and Mama gotta come and pick that thing up <laughs> That's what these kids do. They give up on everything. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get the stuff out of the closet. Uh, oh my god. What is going on in here? What are you what two are you doing? doing in the closet? What are you doing to my daughter, Peter? Uh. Rita, what are you doing here? to that man? Oh, you, uh, Look at Viola. <laughs> oh, damn. I know. Stop doing that to him. Let him go. Damn. Let him go. Oh, come on, Dad. You don't need to do this. Uh, come on, let's go. Stop it right now, let Rita. Him, uh, let, go. let go of him. Come on. Let's go. What hell of a grip you got on there, you. <laughs> Come on, Stop now. doing what you're doing. See, come on now. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, my Shut God. That door. Did you see that? Did you see that? What's the matter with her, man? Oh, shit. Oh, man. Oh, la, le, papi. Yeah, look at this. Motherfucking Vita, man. Way to go, bro. I know you had it in you, man. Damn. Going to town on that thing, man. Oh, my goodness, man. Great job, man. You got to grab it from the back of the head like this, man. Yeah, there you go. There you go. All right, man. Have fun, man. Yeah, I gotta see this for myself, man. I just don't believe it. Cheech told me this was going on, man. I gotta see this for myself. There's no way, man. In here, huh? Wow, dude. He wasn't even lying, man. Cheech was in bullshit, man. This shit really is going on in here, man. Yeah, man. Merry Christmas to you there, buddy. Oh, by any means, don't don't stop on my yeah, account, yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, hey, man, I understand completely, man. No, don't stop on my account. You got to keep it going, man. Oh, come on, man. You can do a better job than that, man. I mean, come on. You got to take your finger and stick it in the butt sometimes, man. They really like that, man. Like, here, man, let, let, let me show you, man. It goes kind of like this, man. Like, here, I'll show you, man. Just twist her around over this way a little bit, huh? Yeah. Yeah, man, like, like this, man. Anyway, man, here you go, man. The rest is yours, man. Merry Christmas to everybody, huh? You're like the little fairy lady, huh? The gift that keeps on giving. Well, man, Merry Christmas, man. Don't let me interrupt you. I'm out of here, man.
Like they say in AA, man, thanks for sharing, man. We got one last story, and we got to wrap it up with the story section of this party, man. And uh, you got be me, so man. We got one more person. Who's it gonna be? You know damn well gonna be oh, me, man. Course. Of course, so I always, you did say you wanted one, and so the last one's you. You get the main event, man. It's all yours. It's all yours, I I love it when you tell this story. I already know what you're gonna be picking. It's the cheap little baby. That's right, that's right. Oh, damn, you know, here we go. Now you're going to sit there and tell us about no no bullshit in the Star Wars Dance Hour. So you better tell this one legit let the way it go. Of course, I'm going to tell you just the way it is. And then I wouldn't have it no other way. It's about this little baby there named Jesus. That's right. Jesus. You know. Yeah, man, I know him, man. Yeah? He's the main guy, man, in that... Jesus Christ, superstar, man. I know that I've seen him up in Broadway one time when I was tripping on LSD, man. Nah, man. I mean, yeah, Great I know. show, I, man. I mean, yeah, he done did that in his lifetime and all that, but that was the way later on in life when he became a superstar. But yeah, man. Right now, we're going to sit there and talk about it when he was a little baby, and uh, it started when everybody seen that this baby would come. He was going to grow up and there'll be a king, you know. He's going to be a king. A and, uh, king, I man? Wow, baby man. There. Yo, the old little baby there, Jesus, you know. He ain't like that Santa Claus who sit there to judge you and everything. Don't want to come around and hook you up on Christmas time. Yeah, fuck the Jesus that guy. ain't like that at all, guy. man. He's, he's actually, he, he forgive you all the time, you know. He, he's a very forgiving little baby, a very forgiving man when he gets older. A very good king, man. Such a nice little baby. Well, no, nonetheless, let me say that story, story started like a oh, long, long, long time ago in the galaxy far, far away. Sounds right. And, uh, it all started with this man who was up there in the hills, far up on the mountainside, and his name was Moses. Yeah, uh, Moses yeah, was yeah, uh, yeah, fine, yeah. man. Sit there looking over his sheep and billy goats and all that stuff. And, uh, doing the best he can to keep Uncle Rooney away from them so bitches, you know? Saola. Come well, on. Anyway. He's up there on the side of the mountain there, and he he got a couple of friends, real real smart, wise people. They call them wise asses. Uh, he goes and sees the uh, three wise asses, and he uh, wise asses called him up, told him come over here. So Moses went over there to see what the wise asses. Three is three of them right now. Okay, three wise asses. Three wise asses. They all sitting there talking with Moses, and they said they said they got their their premonition. They that uh they supposed to go to a place in Bethlehem. Bethlehem, um, man, I know where that is. Star huh? on the mountain, and they gotta follow the star on the mountain to go into Bethlehem. Now yeah. Bethlehem was a long walk. Yeah, you know what is, I mean? Man. And uh, right there, so they, they, they was gonna walk. need to get some cigarettes and stuff. So they stopped by the corner store and pick up a pack of camels, and they they took their camels and started heading to Bethlehem. And uh, the they, the three wise asses grabbed a pack of camels, and uh, Moses he's uh, he bringing everything else. So he's sitting there, they bringing all these presents over there, you know. Uh, this happened a long time ago. You remember, Myrtle? You was there. Fuck you, uh, Zao. There wasn't really much thing. They, they just, uh, so they said they'll stop by the corner store, pick them up some, some camels and stuff. And they they ride uh, riding down, walk in with the, with the camels, you know. And uh, they, they didn't really know where they was going, so Moses put on his GPS. GPS is a rough, man. try to find a way to, the, to Bethlehem, and uh, they went to um, Allen. Town and they went through uh, like Eastern and they went through uh, part of Whitehall and uh, I think they they a cat they 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 a cat of sock well eventually they sit there and they find this place called Bethlehem and they look up in the side of the I think it's the hill the hill bridge right there they see yeah, a star man. in the mountain and they know that that's where they had to go and uh, because that three wise asses uh, they sit there and they they told most. Moses and so Moses uses GPS and uh, they find it there. They start climbing up on the mountain and um, and uh, they get up there and they find this little uh, like a storage shack or something, and, uh, something like that. It used to be a barn a long time ago because there's some haystacks up in there and all this stuff. Find this uh, lady up in there. It's right, a lady, I think her name was uh, Mary, yeah, with the guy named Joseph or something, and uh, she was a virgin, and, um... Virgin, man? Huh? 
Well, they said, boy, the, the, the virgin, she had a baby. How does a virgin and have she a baby? Never got the groove on. You know what I mean? Yeah, that it's sucks. Kind of sucks. And you get under. You gotta get stuck with a baby, and you don't even get a chance to get your damn groove on. But anyway, they get there. That does that happen, man? I don't know. I think they adopted or something. Or I don't know. Anyway, the baby was there. They get there and they see the baby is there. And they, they, they realize, oh, they don't got enough gifts, man. They say, yo, man, they're going to come back over here. Oh, so they damn, go out there and man. they realize the baby's crying. He's crying like crazy. He won't stop crying, you know. So they they, they got to do something to make this baby happy. Baby's crying. So they man. sit up there and start a campfire and stuff. And Moses sit there and he sees the uh, bush there. The bush, uh, you know, the good stuff. Oh, you know? yeah, man. I love that. Too. Yeah, the, the, the good stuff. They had to make the baby happy. Go, baby going to be a king, you know. And you can't have a king all upset with you because he'll, he'll fuck you up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he will, man. Up. So they sit in there and they find this bush and it's a burning bush and it's a really good stuff, man. So they said, <laughs> and the, wild, the three wise asses start humming this song and I think it was from like Janis Joplin or something. Yeah, man. Uh, one of there you go. Janis Joplin, they all humming it around the campfire uh, on this, while they're smoking on this burning bush, man. And I don't know where all uh, oh, this this little lady, Fox the Lady, show up. And, uh, Was she green, man? She, the smell of the greatest uh, ganja in the world, some of the greatest flippy out there. And, and, and there, there she is. Oh. A fucking fairy. That's right. A big fucking fairy. Yeah, man. And like, she's she been around Jane, all over the and, place, um, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm talking about in there, right? Yeah, man. So Mary Jane go give them some herbs and stuff like that. Said that they need to take the herb to this baby and a couple of their brownies and stuff like that. And the best, the cookies. gift that keeps on giving, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. All that stuff, man, right there. Yeah, yeah. So they go back up to the mountainside, follow the star. And, you know, Moses put on the GPS again. And they get there and they see the baby sitting there and they bring the baby all these herb, man, like all the finest weed of their planet. You Lucky know. little guy, I'll and tell you. They start feeding the baby some brownies and baby stop crying. Baby start getting all giggly and, uh, uh, you know, funny and stuff. You know? Wow, man, he didn't even pass out. He is, a, Jesus, he is the Lord, man. No. He's sitting there. And they're sitting there, and they're sitting there giving the baby all kinds of gifts. And I mean, like, all kinds of real nice stuff, man. You know, baby, calm down now. You got to eat some of them Dale Brownies. They, they give him the herb, a lot of herb, man. There was a lot of herb there. There was, uh, there was that, uh, 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 adobo, safrito, um, uh, uh, paprika, and uh, marijuana. And, uh, nice. Like, all this good stuff, man. And they give them these other gifts too, man. Like, uh, let, let's see, like I'm talking. Uh, l listen, son. I mean, like, serious. This is some really good stuff, man. Like an uh, Xbox One and like a PS4. And Electric guitar, a man. Set of headphones so the baby can listen to some Janis Joplin and play with the little fairy and uh, doing all kinds of good stuff. Maybe a drum and set. The too, baby man. end up being a real, real happy baby. That's and grew nice. up to be a mighty fine man and live happily ever after, you know? Yeah, the baby. Like That's a superstar, right. man. A superstar. Goes up to Broadway. Yeah. He, everyone around the world learn who this guy is. He's a king, a superstar. That's how and I met him, man. Everybody like this baby. He's a real forgiving man. He loves everybody. He's a oh, love and peace and chicken grease. You know what I mean? Real cool, and, dude, uh, man. He did love everybody and everybody love him. He become a superstar, go to Broadway and live happily ever after. After, oh my. my story right there. Not a fine wow, man. man. That's just awesome. But see, he is a fine little boy. A fine little boy. Grew up to be a real fine man, too. Real fine man. Sure so did. There, people like him a lot, too. Yeah, that fairy really gets around, man. Yeah. Yeah, kind of. I say so. She got up in there. They're the legends, you know. Untold legends. I think I'm seeing Smurfs. Here, try some of these, man. There's a smurf, look. Yeah, try some of these shrooms, man. You'll see them even better, man. Somebody get the goddamn phone. I don't know, man. It's like every single fucking year. Every single year, it's the same fucking thing. I do all this stuff all year long. They say it's bad. I don't understand why it's bad. Because that's what you but do. But all I know is every single year, that fat bastard don't leave me shit. Tell him, Rock. Like I'm the only fucking person in the whole fucking world that don't leave me shit.
Oh, come on, Frank. You ain't the only one who's got these issues, man. Not at all. You got something to say there, Rocky. You always got something to say. You're damn right I do. Idea, You're huh? not a very nice you guy. You want to be a wise guy, huh? Kill him, Rock. You let, oh, you, yeah? Yeah, what you going to do, that huh? little old man. Shut up, Frank. I fucking tell you what, that little old man looking like Mr. Miyagi, you fucking dumb motherfucker. Hey, listen, buddy. You do leave the little oh, guy out of so it tough. between you and me, you know? Listen here. Really? You ain't the only one around here who got it all tough. It ain't all sunshine and rainbows for us either, you know? You tell, tell him. But it should I'll be, tell man. him. I'll tell him. Let me, let me, I'm going to let him have it. Listen, Why Gaff, you Frank. When I was back and I was your age, I was doing things a little bit differently. Jesus was still The world working. was a very different yeah, place. Yeah, tell him, Mick. Tell him. I had my chance at the great one, Rocky Marciano, for the heavyweight championship of the world. And I got ripped off, you know. I did. I should have won that fight, and everybody knows it. But there comes a time, kid, when you've got to take it the way it is, the way the cards are dealt to you, you understand? Is that so? Either that or you find a way to make it work, you just get up and keep on punching. You keep on letting them have it, and you change it for the next time. You understand? You don't let people get to you, not even the big Batman. Yeah, well, that guy can get Let me my tell ass. you, it goes like this. Let's show him, Rock. Go ahead, you dare show me. I dare you. Come on, come on. All right, Mick, let's go. Hey, yo. Broke my hand on Apollo's head. Somebody snitched on me. In the rematch, I stole the win. Somebody snitched on me. I made Polly heat a bug, banged Adrian on his rug, worked as a collector for a thug, and somebody snitched on me. I'm getting nothing for Christmas, God, mother, and father, say that. I'm getting nothing for Christmas, cause I ain't been nothing but bad. Drink a bowl of Rocky beer. And they snitched on me. I taught Tyson how to buy ears, and somebody on, snitched man. on me. I sat by the fan and cut the cheese. Got Rita on her knees. Smoked a bowl of Tommy Chong weed, and somebody snitched on me. I'm getting Nushton for Christmas. Mother and father or oh man I'm getting nothing for Christmas so I ain't been nothing but that When Santa, Santa Claus does get, get you He better, he better have a sack. sack When, when Santa, Santa Claus gets here We're, we're gonna, gonna kick, kick his ass. ass Cause every, every year he leaves us slack Every year he leaves us trash Now this year we'll kick his ass And you really better not snitch on me Well, get to nothing for Christmas Damn right, Rock Me and Mick Yeah, we've been bad We've been horrible We get to nothing for Christmas But now, Rock That's why this year we're gonna kick his ass Kick his ass Know that? That was perfect. Perfect rock. Yeah, that wasn't too bad at all. Uh, nice job, guys. Now let's wait for this bastard. Nine eleven. what's your emergency? Hi, it's me again, Ethel. How are you? Hello? How are you tonight, Mr. Officer? Um, Ma'am? Yes, that's me. This is Ethel. Did you call earlier tonight? Yes, I did. That was the one with the broken ankle. Remember? You didn't want to help me. Did you get your medical attention that you needed? No, not really. My sister came and picked me up. I ended up avoiding my ex-husband because my sister was going to kill him and everything. Okay, but this is a 911 call. It's for emergencies only, ma'am. I know, but I just wanted to call and say Merry Christmas to you and the troops. I think you guys are Oh, good. I appreciate it, but you can't do that. But that's what I wanted to do. You tell those guys. Why don't you guys, just send a card to the station or something? No, there's no need for all that signing stuff. I just wanted... 
I just wanted to say Merry Christmas to you and all the troops. I'm afraid I can't do that, ma'am. Why not? Those troops fight hard for our country, and I want them to know Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, you know? Well, we thank you very much, but we're not really the troops. We're your uh, law enforcement. Uh, you and all your fine service people are really great. If you guys ain't doing anything, you guys should come over here to the house. We're having quite a party. <laughs> I'm afraid I My can't My ankle's do that. feeling a lot better since I went through a quarter keg of beer. I guess. I guess so. <laughs> yeah, I'm also pretty high. We're all getting pretty blasted over here. We're doing some LSD trips, and I'm seeing weird little Smurfs running across the uh, carpet. Um... Ma'am, really? Did you really come over? We're having do the kids are doing whippets and they are gonna what? eat all kinds of pot brownies and we're singing songs and everyone's getting drunk. My my daughter's having pretty much an orgy with everybody. She's giving her fucking body up to everybody like some kind of goddamn slut. Ma'am. But we're having a good time here at the party anyway. Um you just dialed 911 in your town. You and the boys and all the troops over there should just come on down here. We just want to say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Uh, ma'am, are you nuts or something? You God bless your holiday. What is wrong with you, lady? Are you really high? Oh, no, it's perfectly fine. If nobody knows about it, just don't tell the police, okay? Ma'am, you know who you are talking to, right? Well, you have a Happy New Year anyway. I got to get back. I got a big roll of... A uh, big old roly poly is sitting there waiting for me, filled with the ma'am. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, it's good, good, yeah, yeah, the Christmas fairy, uh, ma'am. Yeah, the good weed. Uh, you have a good night. Happy Can New you Year. Hear me, Remember, tell all the troops they said Merry Christmas, ma'am. Bye. Ma hey, hey, this lady's fucking nuts. I'm with you guys, you know. Every damn year. You know how it is, yeah. Everything I do all year ain't get shit. No, 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 Jack the halls with boys and ivy Dance in the claws, bitch, half my shit All year long my kids are screaming and scheming But on Christmas night they tucked in and dreaming Of Christmas morning, dreaming of gifts But on Christmas morning they wake up and see shit Nothing there, must be some bad asses Santa puts on his glasses, double checks his stashes Covered in ashes, Santa clinches his fits Crazy bastards, son of a bitch, didn't make the list Say the best, have my shit. Damn right, man. To have it. Hell yeah, man. Say the best, have my shit. Come on, man. Hell yeah, man. Come on, man. The whole way traps and follies. Give them a night that I'll never forget. Jack the halls with boys and ivy. Damn Santa Claus, bitch, have my shit, man. Every year, it's not the, a very nice way to eat it. Gotta murder that hammer. All of us, all of us, everybody, murder the neck. We all murder the rubber neck. We all murder the rubber neck. The whole tree grabs and falling. Give him a night that he'll never forget. Jack the whole tree boys in Ivy. Damn Santa Claus, best have my shit, man. It's like, uh, he's not a real nice guy, you know. I thought we worked, uh, Bobby. I thought we worked, man. Uh, I made a large but I came oh, back and knocked him out. Yeah. Gonna have my shit. Better have it. Damn straight. Come on, Bit man. Better have my shit. I put a cap in it, you know? Come Amen. on, man. Jack the halls where traps and follies. Give him a night that he'll never forget. Jack the halls with boys and ivy. Damn Santa Claus, bitch, have my shit. Man. Jack the halls with traps and follies. Give him a night that he will never forget. Jack the halls with boys and ivy. Damn Santa Claus, bitch, have my shit. Man. This is all I'm saying over here. Everything I do all year long, you can kiss my ass, you fat ass. I'm gonna wait for you to come down the goddamn chimney and I'm gonna fucking stick you know what up your damn ass. Lots of gingerbread cookies. The whole red traps and follies. 
Give him a knife that he will never forget. Jack the Hawk with poison ivy. Dipped in a cloth, let's have my shit. Jack the Hawk with traps and follies. Give him a knife that he'll never forget. Jack the Hawk with poison ivy. Dipped in a cloth, let's have my shit. Man, you got it. Capiche there, buddy? Don't make me oh. come after you. <laughs> Fucking vodka, man. Nine one one emergency, please. It's been a long night. Please have an emergency. Hi, oh, it's me, Ethel again. Oh, for Christ's sakes, lady. Please just hear me. I can't me. do this no more. What do you want? I just want to say something. What do you want? I just want you to tell the troops a message for me and my family once and for all. Oh, lady, this is 911. This is for emergencies only. But can you please give my message to the troops, please? We're not the troops, ma'am. We're not the troops. Well, I think you are. Can you please just do it? Fine. What do you want? Okay, it goes like this. We, we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring to you and your friends. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Fatty Tarita, man. Yeah, man. Let my friends out, man. I really want to thank everybody for coming. Not man. a fucking I, problem, I man. You guys are totally smashed and wrecked. Everyone had a good time. Lots of stories, songs, everything. It was fucking just a blast having you guys here. The kids are going to be sleeping for days. Thank you, Cheech and Chong. Thank you, uh, Frank, for coming. All no of you guys, problem, family. Man. It was just a blast. We had a blast. Man. Yeah, Merry man. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas to you, too, man. Fucking kick ass, buddy, daddy, da, man. Yeah, man. Thank you very much. Yeah, come on. I want to call them lady, but ain't no ladies. Fuck you, Zowla. Let's go. Come on, guys. You guys always got to fight. Thank you very much for having me and Mick. You're a very nice guy, man. Very nice guy. Real good guy. Yeah, Rock. Yeah, thank you for absolutely everything. Uh, let me use your phone and getting annihilated stupid fucked up. You know? What the fuck is that? It's that Santa Claus. Well, tell the motherfucker to knock it off. We're sitting here trying to have a party. Keep it, keep it down. Hey, what you guys waiting for? Get that son of a bitch. Oh, shit, yeah. Come on, Mick. Let's get that son of a bitch. Get that motherfucker, man. We need to get him. Yeah, man. Like yeah. right now. Hurry. Let's go. <laughs> Woohoo! Woohoo! Where the fuck you going out there, you big fat piece of shit? Get the fuck back here right now. <laughs> yeah, fucking fuck Christmas. you. Everybody. Merry Christmas. I said, this is Frank Rizzo. Get the fuck back here, you piece of shit. Like right now. Oh, fuck. Here we go again. God damn it. Fucking out of here. Shit, quick cheats this way, man. I'm coming, I'm coming, man. Oh, come on, guys. Uh, wait, wait for me. Wait for me over here, will you? <laughs> like Beavis, man, this is like totally rock. Like, yeah, 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 fucking rock. Totally smashed, man. Totally smashed and fucked up, but it's <laughs> kick ass party. Merry Christmas. Kick ass party. <laughs> Merry fucking Christmas. <laughs> Damn, you look old as shit. <laughs>